Hi everyone and welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. It is our first video of the new year and per tradition I'm going to be doing my favorite green beauty releases on Integrity Botanicals for the year of 2020. This is my most favorite video to do. If you do not know monthly, I do a series called What's New at Integrity Botanicals. There's usually quite a healthy, hearty amount. I run through the launches. It's a great way to let you all know kind of what's out there, as well as give me feedback on reviews that you would like to see next. So I'm going to do a full 2020 playlist so you can run through the year with me. But I sifted through my videos already and picked my favorites of those releases and these are the ones that I just am reaching for the most using on a really consistent basis and have really just sort of become every single day favorites in the collection that just so happened to be launched in the year of 2020. So we're going to start with January. January, January, I got two for January, the first of which is from Fit Glow. And I was just recently talking about this product actually because my last video was my current plate favorite blushes. So you will know this one. This is the Lumi Firm in Buff. And these are a cream blush formulation. They do also have sculpting shades as well. They have released quite a few over the years of their existence and they are per usual that perfect blend of skincare and makeup in one. This shade is just the most beautiful, warm, but nude tone pink. So I do have it on my cheeks today. You can see we're absolutely getting a lot of color here. It's not very, very bright. It's not very, very bold, but it will still allow for a little bit of color to come through. So. I love this because I do definitely need blush. I find now that I've totally changed my mind on it, I think it really, really wakes up the face. And this color does not compete for attention anywhere else while doing that. And also has the skincare benefits in there. So I always love that about Fit Glow makeup items. Lots of Fit Glow here this year, of course. Um, Fit Glow is on fire with the releases, but we will get there. Next up is one of my favorite releases in a long time. This is from Plume. They released their Nourish and Define Brow Pencils. So these are really incredible. I don't believe I've done a video breaking this down yet. And I think it was because we didn't yet have the refills on the website and then you know the months go by. But I am using this in my eyebrows every single time you see me unless I am out of it. I use the Alima Pure Pencil because I like that one too. But this one I use in the shade Cinnamon Cashmere which I did also use in their pomade. The pomade is really great if you are looking to really do those intense, very, very carved out eyebrows. This is great for a super subtle everyday look. They pop out, whoops, they just pop out like this and work in that refill system. And I'll talk more about that later this month when I review it. But I do even love the spoolie on the opposite end here. It is just such a nice pencil. It's nice and soft, but not too soft where the pencil is breaking. Um, I will say that I do run through the product pretty quickly because I really kind of take my time. Sometimes I take more time than others, but I use, you can use a lot of this is what I'm saying without it looking overdone. And that is why I love it. So I really focus it on the third of my eyebrow or the rather like I leave one fourth of my eyebrow blank. Like I really won't go in that area right there and I'll fill in everything else. Then I'll use the 100% pure green tea brow fibers for that inner part. It is just the most natural brow look. I have really, really dark brows. I have very, very full eyebrows. So I have to be careful not making them look like ugh, little creatures on my face. So this pencil is incredible. I will review this at length um, later this month. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Another Fit Glow release as expected. This came out in February. This is their Cloud Collagen Oil. Now, I really kind of found the, uh, the oils that work for my skin, the ones that I very much like. There wasn't a lot competing with the Agent Nature oil that I have. I was also using one from Live Botanical and I was also using the, uh, the newer release from Vintner's Daughter. Um, as well. So I was just using a lot that I liked. I didn't really see the need for another one until this one came out. I love it. The packaging is incredible. It's got the little pipette that pops both in and out here. Allows you to have a lot of control over the amount of product that you need. Smells 
beautiful, really nice and hydrating formulation that doesn't feel excessively greasy on the skin. So it reminds me a lot of the Agent Nature in that way, just a lot less serum-y. But I love using that at night. I love using it underneath makeup and it has truly become one of my most reached for beauty oils. My skin just likes the cloud line. It really is geared towards more sensitive, um, dry skin and that's exactly what I've got. It's not really sensitive but I can't handle a lot of intense ingredients and I've spoken about that a lot and I do plan on doing a skincare routine sometime, I promise. Um, from Alima Pure, this is not a new release but we have started carrying it on its own this year because last year we introduced it as a little duo and this is the cream highlight from Alima Pure in the shade Alchemy. So they have Alchemy and Element. Element's a little bit deeper of an antique bronze tone. It's not too too rich but it works better on a skin a bit deeper than mine. This Alchemy shade is fantastic. I don't have it on today because I'm wearing another item I'll share with you but these are just, they remind me a lot of the Cure Weiss Highlights, I always compare it to that, where they are not at all sticky or greasy. They're almost dry to the touch, but they're a cream finish, so they're beautiful to apply. I think I'll even take a little bit right here. They sit so beautifully on top of the skin. They really are like weightless and have the most intense, beautiful shine. This shade Alchemy is perfect, but I recommend the formula in general. So if you like the shade Element as well, I think I did a video highlighting those shades. If I did, Per usual, I will have all of the in-depth videos down below for you. Then we have a hair product that also came out in March. This is from Rawa. Rawa is one of my most favorite hair care lines. Seriously, I love everything that they make. And this year they came out with the leave-in, I'm saying this year, last year, they came out with the leave-in treatment light. So this is for healthy, fine hair. Um, it has raw oil, um, anti-frizz heat protectant, quinoa for moisture protection, and lavender and eucalyptus aromatherapy. So it smells absolutely gorgeous. Look how much of this product I use. For a hair care product, for me, that is a lot. I put this in the ends of my hair. So we're talking like from here down, sometimes I'll get a little bit in here too because I get a lot of heat damage on there. Um, I do that every time I wash my hair, which is every couple of days, sometimes every other day. So I'm applying that. I put a little bit of mousse on the top of my hair and that is it. I really noticed a difference in my hair. I feel like I can go a little bit longer without a haircut because the ends of my hair get really, really ratty from all the heat that I apply to it and all the brushing and things like that. So I love that item. I really noticed a difference with it. It does not all weigh my hair down, make it look greasy, heavy, anything like that. I love it. Um, another Fit Glow release. This one came out in April. This is the correct Plus, they did release two shades. I've reviewed them both, an eye bright shade in yellow as well as the peach. The peach is my favorite. It's very similar to their Conceal Plus formula that you know I love so much. My most used concealer of all times ever. I've used several tubes of it. That's, that's the type of love we're talking. This is a very similar formula to that, so it's really quite rich. You need a very little amount of product, um, but it's very, very emollient, so it, it blends out really beautifully. But the nice thing about Fit Glow concealers and correctors is that they're not so emollient where they start to settle in all of the lines, because you do need to worry about that, because obviously if I'm going in with a corrector, I'm not setting it right away. Then I'm going to go with concealer, and it's going to sit there for a minute, and then I'm going to set my under eyes, but this one pairs so beautifully with that concealer. That's my most used. I really notice a difference. And if you have skin tone similar to mine, you could even use alone as a concealer that has a little bit of a peach tone to it. And that does work for some people. So I really, really, really enjoy that one. Absolutely a mo um, most used. Also in April, Cure Weiss released their flush and glow duos. Now I love them all. They are essentially a highlight blush or a bronzer blush mix pan situation. So you're getting the same size as a full size product, but you're getting two half products, which I love because they're creams. I've never gone through a full Cure Weiss cream product outside of the foundation, which once was my everyday wearing one, but these are a fabulous way to try the brand. The formulation is very, very true to how they are on their own, except this you get more bang for your buck and I absolutely love that. The formulation can't be beat. I will link my full review down below but that has been a total, total favorite. Final April release to share April was a good month. Air Perez did also launch their olive oil lipsticks. Now I have all the shades. I have reviewed all the shades. 
They are so beautiful. They came out with a ton. A lot of really nice rich options, but I am wearing the shade Picnic just in the center of my lips here with the gloss on top of it. I love the shade Big Band. I love the shade Royal. I love the shade Cocktail. Lots of beautiful options that are full, full, full pigment that do not sit in the lines and lips, have a really nice slick texture to them that does not bleed, run, is not overly emollient. If you blot them, oof, they are perfect. I'm gonna link that down below so you can find the best shade for you. My number one favorite, I think, I would have to say is Cocktail. It's just so, so incredible. Um, the gloss that I have on top of it launched in May, and these are from 100% Pure. These are their fruit pigmented lip glosses. Now, I adore these. Today, I'm wearing the shade Strawberry. This is probably my most worn shade. It's really, really gorgeous, warm pink. I've also reviewed and swatched these, but they are essentially a really beautiful, nourishing, not at all sticky or tacky formulation from 100% Pure. I love all the shades. 100% Pure always does the best sort of nude color family that is ultra flattering no matter the occasion, no matter your skin tone, and I love them for it. That, that look at it, look, I've actually made a dent in a lip gloss, everybody. That is true blue use right there. I love that guy. Um, I didn't uh, have any favorites from the month of June, so moving right into July, July Cure Weiss launched their Invisible Touch Concealer. Now, I know this concealer was kind of like very hit or miss with people, and it's because it really is an interesting one. It's a quite lightweight texture, so in turn, it's not the most coverage you've ever gotten in your life. But I love something like this because I really find that when... I have a more light base on. It was looking like I had a lot under my eyes when I was using the Fit Glow, and then I was using like a tinted SPF or something everywhere else. It just wasn't matching up. I couldn't really find one that I really liked to pair with it until this guy. So it still does a nice uh, job at covering. It's a really nice lightweight texture, so it blends in an instant. Um, Cure Weiss did a nice job releasing quite a bit more shade range upon the initial drop of this product. I always hope that there are more to come but that was a nice thing to see as well and definitely not for everyone so I'm going to link my video down below so you can get a better feel for this see how I like to apply it see how it actually performs um, but I do really enjoy this product it has a nice matte lightweight texture to it that I think looks incredibly natural um, moving right along September Ritual Defeat launched another favorite this is their cream um this is their color nectar pigment balms i'm sorry which are essentially these cream products that you can use on your lips cheeks and eyes they did release some other shades with this but hands down my favorite most worn one is bee sting and a lot of these it's funny i have a lot of blush favorites that launched this year because this is the year i really got into blush um so you're seeing a lot of those from my from my last video of 2020, which was my blush video. Anyway, this shade is beautiful. These have a really nice watercolor sort of texture to them, so they almost have a level of translucency that looks so, so, so natural on the skin. This color is a beautiful warm tone pink. Again, it goes with quite a few makeup looks. It does also really look nice on the lips, and I do also even like it on my eyes. I like their other cream products more for my eyelids because it's a little bit more emollient than those. They're a bit more matte, but still, if you are layering it with something, this product is beautiful, and it's that rich yet sheerness it has to the skin. I am in love with it. It looks so natural and beautiful. All right, also in September, and I'm gonna keep this one brief because this brand is not new, but it did launch on the website, so I wanted to share it. And it is, of course, Organic Bath Co. I cannot get over what a liking I've taken to the brand. I seriously, I use their body scrub, I use their soap bars, I use their body wash, I use their body lotion. It's all I hit. I use their hand sanitizer every single day. I've got one in the bag. It is just universally an amazing, amazing line. I hate that it took me so long to find them, but now they are on Integrity Botanicals. Making a quick appearance in this video and wanted to share it with you all. If you've not checked out Organic Bath Co., I highly recommend you do. And I have done a full introduction video, kind of breaking down every single one of their products, the ingredients, and the ethos behind the line, so I will include that down below for you as well. October RMS released a product that I really didn't think I was going to be as fond of as I am, and this is their Master Radiance 
base. Now I have to say they do kind of market this to mix in with the foundation, add a really nice radiance to it. That's not my favorite way to use it, though I do like that because I love the RMS cream foundation so much. This is such a beautiful cream highlight. This is what I had on before I put on Alchemy, so it is what I have on this side right here. Take a little bit off in the back of my hand, rub it in, put it on my cheeks. It has a much drier texture to it than it does the RMS Living Luminizer or Master Mixer, though I am in love with those products as well. Those are old time favorites. It's just a little bit more of a natural look to the skin, a little bit of a less wet look as well. So that's why I think it makes for such a good mixing agent as well as being able to be worn on its own. The tone is that beautiful master mixer champagne warm tone that just looks good on everybody. The only person that can't really pull this off is of course you are very, 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 very pale. This might not be your favorite highlight sort of option because you want that to sort of be brighter than the skin a little bit or at least in that same color family. So um, other than that, I think it is one of the most universally flattering products that I've come across. I love the texture of it. I love how it sits on the skin. It wears beautifully. It layers beautifully. There's really nothing to not like. We're getting there. We're in October. I have another October um, favorite launch, and this is from Ritual Defee. Gosh, I love Ritual Defee so, so, so very much. Been such a pleasure diving into the line. And I am no stranger to the Ash and Ember eye soots. I love them or viewed them, but this shade Incantation came out this year and my goodness I cannot keep my filthy paws off it I am wearing it on my eyes here today which is a little bit of the Sappho Victoria shadow that's literally all I have it with in a tiny touch of brown liner this is really all you need the ash and ember isots have such a beautiful sort of metallic it's not quite sparkly it's certainly not matte but they just go on so nicely they wear beautifully they're expensive yes I know, but seriously, they wear so nicely. And if you can find a shade like this that you wear so, 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 so very much, I wear this one in Love Spell all the time. It's kind of a no brainer. It really does all the work for you. Even if you blend a little into the crease, they get that really nice sort of deeper shade there. They just work. They're fuss free. This shade is the most beautiful sort of pinky mauvey golden color. I don't even know how to explain it. It is an enigma. It's beautiful. And again, another very universally flattering shade that I think many of you would enjoy. November, Cary Grand released their Essential Tinted SPF. And I especially love this. It's mask times. You get a little bit of coverage going on. It's incredibly, incredibly natural, incredibly radiant. You get your little SPF fix in there. I think it's really fantastic. I'm kind of somewhere in between light and medium. So ideally, I like to do a bit of a mix of both. But since it is very lightweight, um, I do have the full size in the shade light. I go ahead and apply this everywhere. Go a little bit more heavy on the bronzer. But I do love this. I have featured it in tutorials and I I really, really, really enjoy how this looks. This is the type of product that I would use with the Cure Weiss Invisible Touch Concealer or maybe just the Fit Glow Corrector, something like that. That was a really, really welcome um, base addition because I didn't really fall in love with any foundations this year given that I was wearing significantly, significantly less. Also in December, Fit Glow released their lip scrubbing mask. Oh my God, you guys, this is my favorite lip scrubbing type item that I have ever ever use. So you apply this onto your clean lips, leave on three to five minutes. It's got a really beautiful color to it. Almost looks like you got some lipstick going on when you got it, just a gritty lipstick. Mm. Um, anyway, you leave it on there, then you start using it in circular motions. You get that little manual exfoliation on because before it's doing like a little enzyme exfoliation, scrub it off. Your lips will look significantly better. And what more could you ask for? I mean, that's about it from me. This actually works. I was so, so, so excited about this product. Worth every single penny. And rounding this video off, this was my most loved item for December, absolutely. And this is from Air Perez. This is their natural almond mascara, but it is in the shade Mauve. I cannot believe how much I use this. I actually should have used it today, but I totally forgot until I was already done and ready. This incantation eyeshadow looks amazing with it. Um, I have done two tutorials using this product as well. It's so incredibly easy to use. It actually really is a very nice 
mascara as well. This is what the wand looks, looks like. It's a bit more of a bristly option. Nice length, nice volume. It's not the craziest you've ever had in your life, but your lashes will be purple. So it just adds a whole lot of look to whatever you have going on. I did a full purple sort of look with it. It looks very nice tonal. It would look nice even if you just wore this on its own. It's just a nice product and a really fun color. Could not believe how much I reach for that. So that is it everyone. Those are my favorite launches of 2020. These mostly are still on the website. I've reviewed most of them as well. So the description box is going to be locked and loaded. Make sure you check it out. Anything that's not addressed there, please leave me a comment. I would really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. I upload new videos here every single week and I don't want you guys to miss them. Do check out all of our other social media outlets as well. I always include those in the description and I do a bonus video on Instagram once per month as well. So you could catch me over there, catch me in the comments, catch me here on the channel. I thank you so much for the love and support. Um, of course, I'm really hoping that 2021 is a very fabulous year, especially in the way of green beauty launches. So I'll be back with my first what's new of the year very, very soon. Thank you all so much for watching. Please let me know what your favorite green beauty release of 2020 was, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.